Welcome to Life of Hair, my name is James Atkinson and in this episode I'm bringing you an old school technique, so old school that, well, not many people would probably use it anymore, but I think it's one of those techniques it's great to know how to do. The principle of this technique is a precision classic and it is a really good technique to practice, especially if you're a young stylist because it's one of those haircuts where it will catch you off guard if the lady turns up and says, I'd like my hair to look like this. The traditional firefly, some people call it a wedge, they're sort of hybrids of each other. The pre-section for this technique is incredibly simple. It is a simple horseshoe that sits on the top of the parietal ridge and travels round the head with complete symmetry. The first section is a vertical line and then we're going to simply take a horizontal section we're pulling it slightly out from the head, just using our fingers as a guide, one finger's width from the head. With good tension, we then pull all the subsequent sections down onto the first section. This is the foundation of this haircut. Good tension and keeping the hair slightly elevated on each section. We then follow the outline of the hair. We pull the hair straight out from the head on the first section, and then we pull every subsequent section down onto the first one, keeping the hair with good tension and slight elevation. We work through this technique in this fashion all the way round. can't stress to you how important keeping the hair under good tension is in this technique. You don't have to strangle the hair and pull it to death, but you do need it to be taut in your fingers. And keeping the hair evenly damp as you work is also very, very important. Remember, the elasticity changes when the hair starts to dry out. And there we have it, the first side is complete. Again, vertical section to the back of the ear, horizontal section. Pull the hair down, keeping one finger's width away from the ear, cutting a square line with good tension. Check both sides are the same. If you're happy, then carry on. Next section, pull it straight down onto the first line. You can see the slight elevation now. I'm just one finger's width away from the head with slight elevation on the first section. And my next section has got a little bit more elevation. This is the final section in this front side. And then you simply repeat the process that you did on the opposite side. Elevate the hair straight out from the head. Cut a 45 degree angle that travels in towards the nape. And then every subsequent section is pulled down onto that first section. Remember, good tension is key and keeping the hair damp is also incredibly important. work all the way across to the opposite side of the head to make sure that both of the back parts are blended perfectly. This is very, very important. You'll see my sections run all the way through the center of the head, making sure that I run into my opposite side so that I know I've got absolutely blended center back graduation.
In the back, in the center, there will be a slight point. Simply take a horizontal section, elevate it out and just gently cut the corner off. This will blend your back in seamlessly. There we have the underneath complete. The top is very straightforward. Put the hair into the parting the hair is going to be worn and create a horizontal section at the back just by the crown. And this haircut repeats itself again and again. It seems complicated in the beginning, but you'll understand once you get going, this is a easy peasy haircut because it is the same technique over and over and over again. We are simply pulling the hair down to the initial line that we created with slight elevation, keeping the hair with good tension. We are cutting a square line all the way around. Simply blow dry the hair with a vent brush or a Denman or any brush of that kind and brush the hair horizontally backwards and forwards until the hair is dry. This shape sits perfectly with no blow drying effort at all. Refine the rest of your haircut with a gentle point cutting technique. Remember, this is a heavy shape and doesn't need a lot of texturizing personalization. Little bits and pieces like elevating the front hairline there just so it sits a bit softer may be required dependent on the hair type of your client. And gently scissor over combing your graduation might be required also. In this instance, I'm going to elevate the fringe up so that I get a more seamless blend between the fringe and the rest of my haircut. And there we have it, a classic. The Diana, the Firefly, the Wedge, whatever you want to call it, they're all cut in the same fashion, styled slightly differently or cut at slightly different lengths. I hope you've enjoyed this. It's one of my absolute favourites and a haircut that is out of fashion at the moment, but is well worth knowing how to do. It's a bit of an old school classic, one that some of you will use a lot and others will have never done, but one that I love to know how to cut. It is one of those haircuts that has been around for 60, 70 years. If you enjoyed this episode and you know what to do, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up and leave me in the comments down below.